Hey, I was going on just back in with another sequence video. So this one is in second Maccabees 3, uh, 22 to 39. And, um, you know, it's amazing, you know, and then it has the numerology in it as well. And then it has explicit reference to the two witnesses. So this to me, it's absolutely amazing. I don't know what to say that there's reaffirmation of that sequence everywhere that um, there's going to be a literal two men, you know, appearing in the last days, which I believe we're on the uh, precipice of now. Second Maccabees 322 to 39. Um, while they were calling upon the Almighty Lord that he would keep what he had, what had been entrusted safe and secure for those who had entrusted it. And so this is Christ returning for his elect to keep them safe and secure. It's coded language for that. And that's in 322, 3 times 22, 66. This is in the, the days that we live in now. Uh, verse 24, but when he arrived at the treasury with his bodyguard, so this is coded language, God's elect represent his his bodyguard not that he needs protection or anything like that but they always are around him you know and then they're his sort of entourage so to speak and this in verse 24 44 but when he arrived at the treasury with his bodyguard then and there the sovereign of spirits and, all, and of all authority caused so great a manifestation that all who had been so bold as to accompany him were astounded by the power of god and became faint with terror this is when christ returns in the sky with his angels to gather his elect these quote-unquote bodyguards okay and so now we have a reference, an explicit reference to salvation, you know, in the last days, in 322, 66. Okay, now we have the incredible references to the two witnesses. For there appeared to them a magnificently comparison horse with a rider of frightening mien. It rushed furiously at um, Heliodorus and struck at him with its front hoofs. Its rider was seen to have armor and weapons of gold. And so this is coded language for this horse that's being described here, or all the language that God uses to talk about chariots, you know, and horses and, and fighting and battle. And so in the last days, these, these angels are in so-called UFOs. Okay. And so it's going to be magnificently adorned, which is another definition for that word, uh, comparison. And so, um, and it's going to be frightening. Okay. And mean, you know, and so it rushed furiously. And so, and struck at him with his front hooves, its rider was seen to have armor and weapons of gold. Okay. And so, uh, this also now in 26, check this out. Two young men, this in verse 26, 26, 66. Two young men also appeared to him. Remarkably strong, gloriously beautiful, and splendidly dressed, who stood on either side of him and flogged him continuously, inflicting many blows on him. So wherever Christ is, the two witnesses are always with him. Okay, Moses and Elijah. And so this is the time of the great tribulation in verse 26, 66. And so they're going to be the ones inflicting those plagues in Revelation 16. Okay, and then if you skip down, it says they recognize clearly the power, sorry, they recognize clearly the sovereign power of God, that God is doing all things, okay, including the evil and the plagues. And in the last days, he's going to be doing it through his angels and the two witnesses. And so even here in Second Maccabees, we get um, foreshadowing, you know, of the last days. So now we should expect a reference of Christ appearing again. And we do. Wow. Second um, Maccabees 3.29, when he lay prostrate, speechless because of the divine intervention, and deprived of any hope of recovery, they praised the Lord who had acted marvelously for his own place. This is God's earth, okay? And the temple, now we have a reference to the temple, which is God's elect. And the temple, which a little while before was full of fear and disturbance, was filled with joy and gladness. Now they're with their God, okay? Nothing can harm them at this point. It's just a cleanup. Um, now that the Almighty Lord had appeared. Uh, so now we have another reference to Christ appearing, okay? But this time with his temple, okay? And then they're going to be filled with joy and gladness because they're with him. And so now it's just a cleanup, okay? And then we get that later. There is certainly some power of God about the place. People are realizing, oh, okay, um, God does exist. Okay, the Bible wasn't a joke. Verse 39, three nines, 999, 666, rotated. For he who has his dwelling in heaven, okay, he's going to be returning in the sky with his elect. For he who has his dwelling in heaven watches over that place himself and brings it aid. Listen to this. And he strikes and destroy those who come to do it injury. Okay, and those are everybody on his left-hand side. Those who destroy, he's going to destroy them that destroy the earth. So, and that's 666, everybody with the mark of the beast or worships the, the image of the beast. So um, here in 2 Maccabees 3, 22 to 40, we have an incredible, you know, um, reaffirmation of the sequence. And then it includes the, the obvious fact that the two witnesses are two men. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.